Hello, and welcome to this afternoon's webinar, which will offer tips and suggestions to help plan for Career and Technical Education Month and the remainder of the year. In addition, at the end of this presentation, there will be an open forum where, we, where you will have the opportunity to ask questions of our national staff members. My name is Marisa Preuss, and I am the Communications Publications Manager. I will serve as today's moderator. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We will be recording this session and it will be posted on the advisors only area of our website. Just look for the new Webinar Wednesday link after you log in. I am now honored to introduce FPLA PBL's President and CEO, Ms. Jean Buckley. Thank you, Marisa. And once again, welcome to this afternoon's special live webinar and open forum. Each year, we set aside the Wednesday of National FBLA PBL Week to honor and thank all the wonderful teachers and faculty who currently serve as advisors to our 6,500 chapters nationwide. We gratefully recognize all of you who advise, guide, and support our 250,000 student members across the country. Without the guidance of local chapter advisors like yourselves, our success would not be possible. So on this very special day, let me personally thank you for the support that you have given your members and our organization. Now it is my pleasure to turn the program over to Greg Oliver, Director of Marketing and Educator Relations, and Lisa Smothers, Membership Director. Thank you, Jean. For 69 years, teachers, students, business leaders and politicians have helped shape our past, but it is technology that advances our curriculum, chapter projects, and competitive events, and we are proud to have launched three new tools for advisors this year. First, our website has a fresh new design and a cleaner layout. It features improved navigation, search capabilities, and a new multimedia center, making it easier for you to find the resources that you need. Second, the new mobile web version of our website improves your experiences when visiting our website with a wide range of smartphones. Now the information that you need the most is right at your fingertips. Our new iPhone app is live and ready to download. It offers quick access to our Facebook and Twitter pages, blog, YouTube channel, and Flickr gallery. It also provides a streaming news and calendar feed keep you updated on the latest news and events from FBLA and PBL. This week our chapters throughout the country are celebrating by publicizing their activities that include everything from FBLA PBL t-shirt day to faculty appreciation and career awareness day. Remember FBLA PBL week can serve as a springboard to celebrate the entire month of February for career and technical education or CTE month. How can you get ready? Continue to plan different activities throughout the month. It could be something as simple as sponsoring a guest speaker at a meeting, promoting green activities to your members, hosting a chapter etiquette dinner, sponsoring a networking night, or making an informational booth to get the word out to prospective members. Other chapters plan projects for America Saves Week, which is February 20th through the 27th. Why not have your FBLA or PBL members teach elementary students about the benefits of saving? And don't forget, it's not too late to recruit. Focus on recruiting underclassmen that will help maintain your chapter. Host a pizza party, movie night, field trip, or any other fun activity to attract more members. Keeping your members interested and involved is the key to retention. This month is also a perfect opportunity for FBLA, FBLA middle level, and PBL members to finish up the BAA, MAP, or CMAP program in time for the March 1st deadline. Get noticed. Make sure your school, local media, business, policymakers, and the community know about CTE Month. Invite community leaders or state officers to attend your chapter meetings and communicate with public officials by writing and visiting your elected officials. This is a good opportunity to take pictures and write news stories. Take it a step further and make sure your chapter is in the news throughout the remainder of the FBLA PBL year. Media looks for news that is timely, includes high resolution photos, and is of interest to the community. Student award winners, group events, unique fundraisers, and projects are all great things that your chapter reporter can focus on when preparing news releases for the community, 
or school newspaper or website. Oftentimes, journalists look for a hook to a story. Instruct your officers that when writing news releases, use words like first ever, best, or largest. This coming Saturday, February the 12th, is National FBLA PBL Community Service Day. If you've not planned something, there's still time. You could even plan a project for later in the month, but promote it now to your members. Survey activities help your chapter get involved and contribute directly to the community. Members recognize the importance of being responsible citizens and form networks with business and community leaders. Service learning helps your members to learn about real-world issues, concerns, and needs. Matches the members' strengths with community needs. Provides practical experience in planning and organizing. Develops leadership skills. Builds recognition and goodwill for your chapter. And finally, teaches satisfaction for a job well done. Activities could include working with the March of Dimes, volunteering at a homeless shelter, conducting a blood drive, developing community improvement projects, or developing a project with any other service organization. Okay, thank you, Greg. We had a few questions submitted and we're ready to begin the open forum portion of this afternoon's webinar. National member, staff members are standing by and are available for your questions. They include Richard Bowen from our conferences department, Ray Wu Roar from our Education and Competitive Events Department, and Greg Oliver from Membership and Communications. If we run out of time, we will email you individually to answer any question that we were not able to get to. And of course, you can always email us at the address on the screen, and we'll be happy to help you. Okay, looks like the first question comes from Monica in Florida. She wants to know how to begin getting students ready for the state and national competitions. Let's see. It looks like, Ray, that's a question for you. Uh, yes, that's a question that we get quite often. Um, there are a few items that I would recommend. First off is our newest addition to the FBLA PBL website, the new, the new competitive events online reference guide. Basically, this is a one-step or one-stop online resource for all the information relevant to the FBLA Competitive Events Program. It includes sample questions, videos, case studies, reports. All of those things are listed. As the students progress a little bit further um, into their studies, what I would also recommend is going on to Marketplace, where we also have available the FBLA and PBL study guides. and there is roughly about 10 new presentations that are available on DVDs as well uh, that can be purchased that were completed at last year's NLC. Okay, Monica also wants to know, um, in regards to the job interview event, is Merit Corporation a real company or is that uh, some kind of business? The Merit Corporation Act is actually a fictitious corporation. There's no predefined product or services that they actually offer. Uh, we suggest that members base their information on the type of business that they wish to apply for based on their skills or their interest. Um, all the information that is listed in the resume, however, should be factual. Okay, thanks, Ray. Greg, it looks like this question is for you. It's regarding membership madness and membership mania. Can you give our members a little bit more information about that? Certainly. Those are two programs that are set up to recognize our student members who actively engage in recruiting other members into the program. Membership Madness is when a member recruits five members. Membership Mania is when they actually can recruit two members or more. All the forms uh, for recognition certificates for those individuals are found in the advisor area and each student who's a member is eligible to participate. By the way, those are all due by April the 1st of each year. Okay, thank you, Greg. Richard, it looks like we have a question for you regarding Orlando. This comes from Karen in New York. Uh, Karen wants to know if um, we have discounted attraction tickets available for SeaWorld, Universal, um, or Disney. 
Uh, yes, we will be offering discounted attractions uh, tickets. Um, the closest theme park to um, our area we are using is um, SeaWorld and followed by Universal uh, theme parks and then Disney theme parks. So those will all be available in different forms of options of um, either afternoon tickets or full day tickets or multiple day tickets or multiple park tickets. And that will be available in the first part of March. Okay. Uh Karen also wants to know what um, hotels are we using for the NLC this year? For the PBL conference, we'll be completely housed at the Orlando Hilton, and that would be for the competitive events and the guest rooms. For the FBLA portion of the conference, that will be in the Orlando Hilton, the Rosen Center, and the Rosen Plaza, which are all in walking distance from each other and connected to the Orange County Convention Center. Okay. Thank you very much, Richard. Greg, it looks like we got a follow-up question about uh, Membership Madness. Uh, Tiana wants to know, is the Membership Madness only for the students who recruit other student members, or does it also include the professional division? Recruiting other members, but also uh, Yes, if they, if they recruit professional members as well, that can be submitted uh, on the form and we'll take a look at that. Okay, it looks like that was our last question. Meet us in Orlando at the 2011 National Leadership Conference. You can get up-to-date information about the NLC as details are gathered and posted on the website. The NLC guide will be mailed to advisors in March of this year. And don't forget to save the date for the next two webinars, which are coming up this spring. On April 6th, we have FBLA Competitive Events, Getting Ready for Your Competition. That's going to be held again at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's open to advisors and students. This 30-minute webinar presentation, led by FBLA PBL Director of Education, Barbara Small, will share the key steps that your FBLA chapter should take in order to achieve success at the National Leadership Conference in Orlando. And the presentation will also be followed by a Q&A session. Then also in April, on April 27th, again at 3.30 p.m., we have Countdown to Orlando, NLC 2011 preview. Come learn what is new this year, steps to register and prepare your chapter for travel, and how to prepare your students for competition. Learn all about the conference hotels, the Orange County Convention Center, and Orlando area attractions. Plus, we'll tell you more about special certification opportunities, the Institute for Leaders program, and much more. That concludes today's webinar. Thank you again, and happy Advisor Appreciation Day.